She sprayed his car? Are you kidding me? Yesterday, yeah. Things got out of hand. That must be why she's at the station now. <sighs> she's really stressed out. Oh, what, and I'm not? What's she on? It's no wonder they couldn't look me in the eye. Aaron, you're back. What are you playing at? I'm so sorry. Look, nobody knows anything. Not yet. Oh, come on, even that lot in there can put two and two together thanks to Banksy over here. We agreed to leave it to the police. And I will do from now on. You just can't stop yourself, can you? I have been going off my head here. If Robert hadn't have talked me down, I'd have probably done a lot worse than chucking a bit of paint around. Oh, well, that, that's all right then, isn't it? Aaron, come on, she was in a real state. Yeah, and now so am I. Because thanks to her, everyone in that bar's going to be working out what Gordon did to me. Lucky for you, half of them think he's innocent. Which is why you're going to go back through there and tell them that's exactly what he is. I can't do that. Do it. Or I walk. And I don't come back. I mean, with a father like that, it's bound to leave scars. You've been watching daytime TV again. I'm a health professional. I've seen cases like this before. So go and make up fairy tales about someone else then. Gordon's such a nice man. Thoughtful. Caring. Decent. He's well turned out. What do you expect? Horns in a tail. Mm, abusers often are. They have empathy with their victims. Gordon is no abuser. And whoever thinks he is, then they're wrong. He's done nothing. Of course he hasn't. It's shocking what people think they can get away with these days. Lives, careers down the pan because of some half-baked accusation. And they don't come more half-baked than that. Got it? If anyone's a victim, it's that poor man. Chaz, the next time you see him, tell him he's got our full support. Anything we can do to help. Yeah, well, it's all lies, right? Yeah. Squeaky clean as our Gordon. Perfect husband. Perfect dad. Whoever it was that turned my son into the messed up, vulnerable, damaged human being that he is today, then it definitely wasn't him. No. He didn't abuse him. He never hurt him. He never took his anger out on him. He never made my own son feel so bad about himself that he had to lie to me so that I had no idea what was going on until it was too late. He never made me want to die. Because the boy I love more than my own life couldn't even turn to his own mum for help. Yeah, because if he did, the whole world would need to know what kind of a sick pervert he is, wouldn't they? Hmm? Now they all know he's got no excuse. He can't come here, Aaron. You're safe. I'm not safe from you and your big gob, though, am I? One thing, one thing I ask you to do. There has been enough secrets and lies. I felt sick just saying the words. Oh, yeah, because it's all about you, innit, every time. He is a monster, Aaron, and you are protecting him. He's going to court because of me. Well, then it's all going to come out anyway, isn't it? No matter how hard we try and stop it. What difference will a few weeks make? You just don't get it, do you? I get how much he hurt you. And I want to hurt him more. And yet you're the one that ends up hurting me. I thought I could trust you. That's not fair, Aaron. You know what he did to me? I can barely even admit it to myself, yet you're all right to go and blow it to a load of strangers. I thought you were better than that. I thought I actually thought that you got it, but you don't, do you? Just stay away from me. <laughs>